up guys, got a game here today for you, uh, Saturday's upload is against a guy called Edwin, it's a quick short one, but uh, you know, I'm using a Mantike and a Coughing, that should alert some signals to you as to what the hell is Zed doing, I was just trying out some bullcrap, if I like pokes and Mantike's actually good, you'll see him soon, but uh but uh we're using coughing as well, so we'll see how those both go down. So gonna lead off with the standard agron awesomeness and uh you know I'd used this thing a couple of times before, but in this match it works to utter perfection. If perfection was a word, then this is what it is. So I'm gonna live with my sturdy with the surf. I'm expecting he's either scarfed or specs some kind of scarf specs latios lead, but uh he ain't gonna live no metal burst, son, especially after he's taken me down 344. That's gonna put him at, what, 688 damage thrown back at his face? Uh, actually, 686, because 3. Why well, can't double? I can't count, never mind, whatever, 686, we'll go with that. Um, but uh, in comes Jirachi, Kustap activates, and I throw an Endeavor at him. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you use Agron, and uh, that's all I'm going to say on that matter. So there you go, You've, uh, uh, Agron has taken out Latios, and his Jirachi is now at 1 HP. I'd say that's pretty successful if I were myself, and I am myself, so let's roll with that. Let's roll with it. So, um, uh, in comes Austin who, uh, I don't know why I called him Austin, because someone was saying Austin Powers or something, I don't know how that relates to Landris, but apparently it does, and uh, he's going to protect to get some lefties gain, I believe, while I go for the U-turn, I know the U-turn's going to take him out regardless, if it doesn't take him out, he's going to switch to something else, U-turn will hit that and give me switch advantage, so in any case, it is the greatest move that I could choose at this point in time, so therefore we go for it, he dies, and uh, I'm able to bring in a switch, unfortunately for me, he's going to get switch advantage, but fortunately, uh, I am up 5 four and uh, both Jirachi and Latios are dead so um, I guess a safe switch in for myself would be Ments and I actually went to Ments um, here to test whether Intimidate works after a U-turn and we realized that Intimidate does not work after a U-turn because you come in then they bring in a counter so it doesn't work in that fashion so there you go but uh, in comes Mantike to take the Ice Beam obvious Ice Beam is obvious and uh, just look how little that does to Mantike how awesome is this little guy unfortunately for me um, you know I thought he was scarfed so kind of a poor prediction on my part I uh, I believe that he was a Scarf uh, Nino King, but he isn't a Scarf Nino King, and uh, he's a Life Orb. I don't know, I just think Scarfers are getting more of uh, seeing the light these days, so that's why I kind of had uh, an inkling that he was a Scarfer. But uh, I guess not, he's a Life Orber, and uh, takes me out of the Thunderbolt, which ain't great at all, because, uh, you know, Mantike dies, and I love Mantike, it's also oh, awesome. So... I'm going to go with the obvious Earthquake, just because I I don't really want to overpredict at this point. I'm in a relatively strong position with Landris, so I didn't really have a reason to. So, he does go to the Star Raptor. I guess he's uh, reckless, because there was no Intimidate. And uh, that's a reckless Brave Bird. Coughing takes it pretty well, you know, considering it's a Coughing. But, um, unfortunately, my Coughing's just going to be left as Death Fodder, and he doesn't really get to do anything, which is kind of sad, because I like Coughing. He's cool. He's just, you know, he's just like a, a ball of purple and in general I I like balls of purple I don't know who else does but I do I do indeed so in comes Sheik Immense because he is the Mabuki Sheik of the Salamence uh, trait trait people um, but uh, the main reason for that was Intimidate of course um, it also allows me to throw a Draco at anything that wishes to come in which is a Zoomeral perfect you know, Azumarill, Draco is going to die, um, if not from one hit, then from uh, a secondary hit followed up after the Draco, um, which could either be a, uh, a Dragon Claw or an Earthquake. And seeing as he has Nido King, I was more inclined to go for... Well, I wasn't really sure, actually. But I, I was more inclined to go for the Earthquake here, and he does switch into Nido Queen. Queen, yeah, Queen. Well, Queen. He says Nido Queen, and it's King and Queen and whatever. But there you go. Earthquake happens, and that was a very poor switch on his part. I'm not sure what he was predicting. Perhaps he was predicting a second Draco, and with the special attack lower, believed he would live it. But I was always going to switch up to a physical move there. I mix Mence, and that's generally what mix Mence does. After a Draco, it follows up on the kill with a physical attack, so that it doesn't drop its special attack attack anymore. So in comes Star Raptor, of course I do not want to take another Brave Bird. So I'm gonna go out to my Landris as pseudo death fodder. I know I can potentially live one Brave Bird at least, just because I'm Landris and I don't know why. But apparently I can't. 
and I'm an idiot, and why did I ever think that Landris could live one? That was that was a 100% death fodder, Zed. Don't even beat about the bush here. Let's let's not be stupid. So, uh, in it's going to come McBoss, and at this point, I am thinking there isn't really much on his team that uh, McBoss can't deal with at this point. I have the E-Speed, and, uh, you know, the priority is going to definitely be uh, beneficial for me in here, because he's going to bring in Rapushin, and after, s I, I was kind of scared of Rapushin, you know, Mac Punch and everything would have taken me down low enough to where maybe Maybe I wouldn't have been able to secure the extreme speed kills on his last two guys, Azumarill and Star Raptor. But seeing how much extreme speed did, I'm almost 100% confident in Flare Blitz killing him from this range. Just because, uh, you know, extreme speed is only 80 base power, there's no stab to it and all that good stuff. And it still did a, like a quarter at least, so Flare Blitz does take him out, not sure why he didn't go for the Mac Punch, perhaps he thought he would live with a tiny amount, uh, I hadn't revealed Flare Blitz at this point, so he may have thought I was overheating or fire blasting or something and thought he could live, but he ain't gonna live and he ain't gonna get no Drain Punch off, so uh, the Flare Blitz is gonna take him out, but at this point he only has Azumarill and the Star Raptor left, so after everything... McBoss is going to end up uh, clearing out the field, as he, he generally does. He uh, generally uh, clears out the field at the end of these games, and uh, definitely enjoying using these four guys that I'm using, the Agron, the Ments, the Arcanine, Mantike, and, you know, all those good people. So, uh, yeah, definitely fun match and uh, interesting stuff. Arcanine finishes off the game. Uh, and does an excellent job of it. Definitely, like, adamant, life orb, physical arcanine. Really fucking powerful, and something I'm definitely, uh, definitely set on using a lot more in the future. I really, really like it. Um, and there you go. There you have it. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed your Saturday and all that good stuff. Uh, and I believe that's all I'm going to say, apart from uh, check out my Twitter and go and check out the Facebook page. I'm almost at 300 people looking at that or something, because 300 people apparently care what I do. It's very interesting and other such stuff, so uh, I'll see ya when I see ya, which is probably tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you then. Goodbye.